I got 25 hairs. You got to be 75. Anybody else here? 27. Five. Now 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 Nonsense of a now, anybody else here now? Seven? Forty-seven thousand. Yep. Yeah. Yes? Yeah. You've said one more time, eight times. Forty-seven thousand. Now forty-eight. Now two. And now two. Thousand dollars there. Fifty-four. I sold a bull. Fifty-three thousand dollars there. Welcome to the Rip Ranch. It's Carson here, and I've got my dad in the seat next to me. And uh, we're going to go and pick up our newest purchase. I gave you a little teaser out of the start of this video. And I wanted to show you. I always say that we like to do things, pick the wrong day to do things, and we just might have. We've got about another seven hours to drive. And as you can see, it's storming a little bit, and there's snow on the sides of the road. So we will keep you up to date on how our trip goes. So far we've hit snow pretty good. You can see that's a lane of road that's covered in snow. Um, so yeah, so far it's a lot of fun. My dad got ice under his windshield and so it wasn't scraping very good. That was loud. We're still fighting the snow a little bit. It's kind of pretty. Little ranch entrance there. We're coming up to our first uh, major place to drive through on the trip, which is Nephi. So if you're visiting Utah and you see a town called N-E-P-H-I, it's not Nephi, it's Nephi. Um, so far the roads have been good, minus that little bit of snow we've had, but we're doing just fine. So we're just here in Nephi. We only got like six or seven hours to go. Here we are in Nephi. Now the rest of the road will be on I-15, the rest of the way north. Okay, no updates except we're now in Brigham City here at Maverick, uh, Venture's first stop. And we are going to uh, get some fuel and get on the way. I think we have like 300 miles left to our destination. So you'll probably catch up to us when we are, get to our destination. All right, so we dealt with a bunch of snow and about five hours from the last time we checked in we're just getting to the hotel so i'll catch up with you guys in the morning hey, he's a nice looking bull i really like him yeah when we uh trip tested him the other day i was like man i like him yeah and 61 i like him yeah Did you open it up? Hey, come on. Okay, as you just saw, we picked up our purchase. So we were in Dillon, Montana at Circle L Angus, where we just bought us a new herd bull. Um, and we are really, really excited about him. Um, we were uh, we were enough excited that we just drove eight hours in a snowstorm yesterday, and then we're heading straight home so we can go put them on our heifers after we AI. Um, so just to tell you a little bit, our bull, he's a safe deposit son. Um, he, like I said, he's out of Circle L Angus, out of a really good maternal cow. And this bull here is going to make some really, really beautiful females. 
Um, he has a really great feet. He has great phenotype. Well, I kind of try to get some more video of him, but we're really excited about what he's going to bring to the Rip Ranch. And uh, so we'll keep you updated on getting him home and give you updates on how he goes for us. But anyways, we'll probably refer to him just as safe, safe deposit. Um, safe deposit or that circle elbow, something. We kind of just, whatever name we come up with ends up just happening, right? Yeah. But anyways, we're pretty excited about him. Um, when we get home, we'll show you unloading him and all that. But man, he is just exactly what we needed on our ranch. All right, we're gonna go check on the bull. We've been driving for a couple hours. As you can see, it's snowy and miserable. How you doing, big boy? He's doing really good. He is a very, very nice bull. If you wanna look at great feet, look at those feet. I don't pay tons of attention to EPD numbers, but he's in the top 1% in claw. And you can see that. Just a beautiful bull. He's doing good. Okay, we made it to uh, Tremont in Utah, to the gas station here. This is our last stop. We needed to get fuel. All safe deposits, doing good. Man, he's really cool bull. So, uh, next stop we're gonna maybe get us some food here and next stop we'll be home we're hitting some hail a little light hail but it's going good for being in the snow the whole day we made it back look at this muddy world we're in here's the bull we're gonna turn him out for the first time here just got to uh open this gate okay like i said this is a big deal this is Bulls are really important to where you're going. Okay, we got it open. Great, Dad. They're going to fight. That one's bigger than me, too. Oh, he's four years old, three years old, four years old. That's what we need. Okay, hey, he's here. Like I said, really, really nice bull. He's going to be in on our heifers in a couple days after we AI as a cleanup bull. He is going to be awesome for our place. So, anyways. I don't know if you saw that, we have this bull. It's actually my sister's. And uh, we put that bull in, and they were starting to fight. And he's quite a bit older. So, we're going to put um, my sister's bull in with. Um, this bull, which is our confidence plus bull, and so uh, they're a little more fair size, so we don't have one of them beat the piss out of the other one. So this will be how we do it. We'll bring it in here. We might have some bullfight. Little so CP here, confidence plus. He's just waiting to see his new crail buddy. It's always fun working with new sets of bulls. Once they get over each other and get their hierarchy figured out. It's fine, but you'll see this, it's not gonna be very fun. And it's always dangerous, they'll get hurt or something, but you just have to get it over with. So my dad's gonna be coming here. This little old boy.
Yeah. Huh? Okay, let's see how this goes. They're tuckered out already. Oh yeah, they're fat. What's the line off Lonesome Dove? What's the line off Lonesome Dove? Oh, I can't remember. He talks about the big bull and the old bull or whatever. I don't know if you guys can hear them, but they're just snorting at each other. Pretty even fight, more than I thought it would be. They're the same age bull. Well, we're about five minutes in and there's still no winner, so I will update you guys when we actually have a winner. Okay, we just went and checked calves. We're gonna go check that bullfight, see who the victor is. And, uh, I have my guesses. We will see who it is. Okay. I don't know who the victor was because I wasn't here. But I'll tell you which bull I like the most and it's that Confidence Plus bull. So I'll just say that one to make me feel better anyways. Yeah, I think he's the dominant one. Does it seem that way, Dad? Yeah. He's the dominant one now. So now he's the top of the pecking order. That's just how it goes, raising bulls. Like I said, it sucks dealing with them. Um, but once they get that all figured out, they're not too bad. We just didn't want that older bull to be beating up on that young bull we just bought before we even got to use him. Well, if you stuck around with us, you stuck with me for two days. 
What would it be, Dad? Over 700 miles combined? Yeah. I don't know what it'd be. Over 700 miles, multiple snowstorms, and we were able to get us a new herd bull, and we are really, really excited about him. And in one of the next videos, we're AIing some heifers, and then we'll be turning him out with them to be doing cleanup. But again, thanks for watching The Rip Ranch.